Well, I think that any time that you can raise in a fun way uh, a serious issue, such as men's health, it's important that you take advantage of that. And Movember is a terrific opportunity to have friendly competition with your colleagues, to be a little silly, but at the same time to be raising awareness about something that is going to impact all of us at one point in our lives. One thing we do is every month teachers will focus on a charity, a focus or an issue around the world or in the local community. So uh, my class over the last three years, we've uh, looked at Movember. Uh, we look at bringing awareness about men's health and just health in general um, to people. Another, another reason that it's important that uh, we look at Movember and we take the messages from Movember very seriously are for, are for our kids. And I have a son who's 10 and I certainly want to make sure that he's aware that his dad and his grandfather and his uncles are aware of the importance of looking after ourselves and taking those steps that we can take in order to ensure that we are healthy and that we are uh, hopefully living long and, and productive lives. So we launched uh, Movember this year by by having the Mo Brigade kind of recruit everyone through their chant. We are the Mo Brigade! We are the Mo Brigade! This is not a charade! This is not a charade! We love Movember! We love Movember! Where men grow mustaches! Where men grow mustaches! Raising awareness! Raising awareness! About men's health! About men's health! A Mo Sista is a, uh, is a woman or a girl who is committed to um, raising awareness and opening up the conversation to talk about men's health. The really great part of Movember is that um, our men who are role modeling for our boys is that they are talking about mental health. They are talking as fathers, they're talking as coaches, um, and they're getting into conversations about coping with stress, about how they deal with frustration, about how they deal with sadness or loss. Um, they're passing on strategies to the boys who are our students, and that's a really great time um, for all of us to grow as a community. This year we're running a student staff basketball game. This will be our third time doing it. Uh, what happens is the students have to pay uh, $2 or $5 to get out of class and all the money goes towards the Movember fundraiser. We definitely get a lot of comments, male or female students, some tell telling us how ridiculous we look or uh, what a great job we're doing. Despite the fact that we're uh, looking ridiculous, we're doing it for a good cause. Uh, to me, it's it's a there's still a stigma attached with men's mental health and uh, mental illness when it comes to men. So I think it's a good example for the uh, young gentlemen we have in the school that we're uh, we're doing. The, all these guys are doing with me. So stay classy, Grand Deary. Well, men's health is important because I feel like a lot of people overlook it a lot. They usually tend to focus on females' health more than males. So in previous years, I couldn't, I wasn't able to grow the mustache, and I wanted to spread awareness. So this year, I'm trying to, you know, grow it out a little bit, see if it works, and I just want to spread awareness. It's something that uh, is important because you're not taking yourself seriously, but what you are doing is pointing out something that is extremely serious. The charity is very good at uh, sending lots of different promotional stuff to try and get. Uh, as much uh, uh, excitement out of it as possible. So uh, there's actually two sashes for uh, Man of Movember and Woman of Movember because there's lots of ways that women can uh, uh, help as well um, uh, by donating or uh, we had a teacher at BCI where she wore stick-on uh, um, once every single day for the all of November, uh, uh, Christina Root. So that was a, a really cool way that she was able to get in involved. But yeah, uh, just to boost uh, more awareness that November's happening and, and why all the teachers around here are walking around with mustaches. So. so yesterday was my 30th birthday birthday so we had lots of family and friends over to celebrate so it seems like the Movember is going to go with me from generation to generation now um, in pictures and social media for a lifetime to remember so I f certainly won't uh, forget my first Movember here with the school board. Just until oh the 31st I had a full beard that uh, was glorious and something I was proud of and so here I am growing this cheesy looking mustache, you know, counting the days down till I can get the beard back. <laughs> I think it's essential that our young people get the message. These topics are not taboo. These topics are critical to their health and well-being, even into adulthood. So it's really important that they feel comfortable with these issues and raising them with um, an, an adult, a parent, um, someone they trust, a family doctor. It may be nothing, it may be something that will be significant down the road.